Okay guys, a bit different video today. We're gonna go ahead and tour Jake's performance hobbies. This place here, we probably spend as much as the tool trucks at this hobby shop buying RC cars and stuff. And it's a pretty awesome place. So I'm very excited uh, to show what's inside with all of y'all. All right, everyone, this here is Hunter from Jake's Performance Hobbies. It's a nice uh, hobby shop you got here. In Thank the, you. This is where Alan and I spend a lot of time. You guys mainly watch us for the tool truck videos and we spend a lot of money on there, but uh, we also come here and buy a lot of stuff. Right, they do. <laughs> So, um, yeah, what do we have here, Hunter? Yeah. These are two new trucks out from Arma. We've got the Typhon Grom 223S along with their release of the Mojave Grom 223S. Just some cars we've been demoing. Actually, this is Pablo's car, but some cars we've been demoing on two cell and three cell to try and figure out what their breaking points are, which we haven't found yet. Yeah. But I'm sure they're in there somewhere. <laughs> Definitely. Everything breaks. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's what we're here for. That's what keeps us here. Yep. Everything breaks. And that's part of uh, one of the main things that we do in this store is not just sell the cars, but all the parts to go with them. Okay. It's something that we do a lot of um, because it's it's... It, that's the kind of the reputation we've built is, right. is we don't sell a car one time. We sell a car for a lifetime. Right. We want, we want the kids, parents, adults, whomever the hobbyist is to be able to come down, get parts for their car, get upgrades for their car. So that way it's going for, you know, however long they want. We've had cars come in that are 20, 30 years old that are still going on the road today because we have parts for them. Which is great. I mean, and, and we've all seen the Revo video. I got that. I bought that used here. Yep. And we brought that back to life. Yep. Yep. That Revo. In fact, Hunter did the break-in on the motor for it. Yep. yep. That's right. Um, so that's, that's what keeps us here. That's what we've been here so long for is that's, that's our, uh, that's our main goal is we want people to have fun and keep having fun for as uh, long as they want. Definitely. They want. Yeah, because, you know, that's the big thing with these hobby grade RC cars. I mean, if you guys aren't um, very knowledgeable with them, you can fix them. You don't just break it and throw it away. Yeah, you right. can fix it. It's so a whole, We have a whole hobby shop full of parts just for that reason. So when you break, you can get parts for it and you can keep it going. Okay. Awesome. Now, a few questions. Uh, what, what do you think is like the number one most sold RC car here? That depends on the season that we're in. So currently okay. we're coming into the holidays. And that's where we get our, our biggest influx of new hobbyists. So okay. kids getting Christmas presents, adults getting Christmas presents. Right. Um, and everybody starts off with an entry level car. Whether I would say that the top two cars we sell during the holidays are the Rustler and Stampedes. Okay. Um, they're 199 to 239 bucks for the entry models. Uh, and it's really hard to beat that deal when it comes to, you know, for 199 bucks, you get a car that comes with everything you need right out of the box. Right. Um, if you want to go brushless, you can spend 239 bucks, get yourself a battery and charger, and then you've got everything you need. Right. Um, and if you didn't want the tracks and stuff, the new Gorgon Fury and Vortex from Arma is the competing products for entry level cars. Oh, nice. And that's 160 to 189 yeah, right 169 there. 169 to 189. And again, everything's in the box you awesome know, everything you need to get going is in the box for 189 bucks so yeah no that's great that, that would be the top seller right now um usually post holidays is when the parents figure out the dads more so figure out how much fun rcs can be yeah so we see a lot of x maxes go xrt's creighton 6s's successes, mojave 6s's successes, mojave 4s's the dads want to play with the kids so yeah. they're getting themselves a truck um, and then usually during the summer months, we do a lot of rock crawlers, oh, okay. a lot of race cars for our local park track. Right. So it, it ebbs and flows with what season we're in and what everybody's doing. I see. Um, usually right now it's it's muggy and gross out. So we're selling a lot of waterproof, small cars, indoor rock crawlers. That kind of stuff is definitely what hits it off right now. During okay. The Pretty sweet. And this right here is that Mini Max, which is a... Uh, releasing what four Release, days it's now? releasing on black friday so the 29th four days this is just our demo model that we've been uh beating the snot out of trying yeah. to find again trying to find the breaking points what what parts we really need to carry and again we haven't found it out right we've started our selection you know with common common parts but right. we don't know what's going to be the breaking point just yet so right right and i was watching some videos on these i noticed the tire compounds they said are different it's a different part number from the back tire to the front tire yeah, I'm not exactly sure why they did that. Right. Trax always has their reasons for right. doing what they do. But, um, yeah, no, this is definitely cool. Uh, Alan, so and you've been a little quiet. What do you think? In my panty. I'll be here in the morning like this. Open, 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 open. <laughs> Knocking on the windows. <laughs> right. Come on, guys. So what color are you going to get? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm, I'm tossing up between black and orange. 
but I'm thinking black. I think black. What do you think, Hunter? I'm thinking black. Um, my favorite of the four colors they got is the blue one, but the black is a close second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, there was a toss up with the the black or the blue, but then the other day I was thinking, I was like, oh, yeah, orange would be kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, my favorite color is blue, as you can tell by most of my displays being blue. Blue. Blue, along with my Jeep and the Ultimate Rustler, I'm a blue fan, so most of my displays end up being blue. So I have a question, why is your GTO red? Uh, right price at the right time. Yeah, yeah. You can always paint a car. I found a completely untouched bone stock car, which is really hard to find for those. Yeah. At the right price, at the right time, it happened to be red. You're like, whatever, I'll take whatever, whatever color. I'll take it. Yeah, definitely. Can't, but um, can't argue, you know. Sometimes you just got to grab what they got. Yep, you know, definitely. You know, ask Alan if, he, if our last Max was red. Would he buy it, Mini Max? Hey, yeah. yeah. He would. Yeah. He would. You can buy a body. He definitely I would. Uh, every body I've had, I've had to repaint so far. Yeah, but yeah. Bodies get destroyed. This, exactly. this truck's probably got four battery packs on it, and you can see the damage. It comes. It's a part of it. I think the bodies are like thirty bucks. You can get them clear. You can get them partially painted. You can get them fully painted. Um, so you have the choice to paint them yourself, and they break. It's a part of it. It's and you guys carry the paint. That's right. Yeah. Do you have to? But I love graphics. that pro graphics body mm -hmm. setup. It's all you can do is just paint it and done. He talks about the pro graphics, and basically what that is is all the black and gray you see is painted on the pro graphics bodies, mm. but the color you see here is clear. So right. You can paint it pink, purple, green, anything you want that may not be a factory color. Right. And it allows you to do fades or, you know, paint splatters, whatever you want, and still have the graphics without just doing one solid color. And it just pretty much gives you such a nice paint job, and you don't need a lot of skill like yeah, we don't, don't have. Yeah. <laughs> One can is all you need to make a cool body. Oh, yeah. Yep. Every pro graphics body I look at looks like a professional painted it. That's right. Every body I painted myself looks like a four-year-old painted it. <laughs> well, you know, you are. Internally, you, you might be four years old. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're all playing with toy cars. I, I'm four, Good toy I'm, cars. Really, I'm 46. Good you just dropped the six. <laughs> you just dropped the six. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, kits, Hunter. I know you've got some nice, mm -hmm. more higher-end kits. So Absolutely. this is for more experienced enthusiasts. I, I wouldn't even say experienced. Really? Okay. we have Tamiya kits. Yeah. And, and you can do Tamiya kits for most people in a couple of hours. They also came out with a Gorgon kit, which is right there. Really? And they label that thing as being ready to be assembled in an hour. Wow. They, they say the, it says an hour worth of assembly time. And it's still a full kit. So, yes, some of the main components come assembled, but you're still putting it all together. So they did that just for people who just like to put stuff together and just kind Again, of figure out their it's truck? A, it's a big thing for kids these days. If right. you can put Legos together, you can put the Lego Technics together, you can do that kind of stuff. You can put an RC kit together. And while you're putting the kit together, you have the battery on the charger. And when you're done, you're ready to run. Yeah. So it's good. You know, they're, to say that kits are for one per one specific um, class of person in the hobby is definitely not true. It, it goes all the way from beginner to experience. Yes, the experience kits are much, much more expensive. You're spending $399, $299. I believe this guy's $499 yep. on, you know, a, a, a box of parts, yeah. electronics or anything. Those are definitely an experienced person's kit, but you can get for 159 bucks a fully ready to run car that your kid can assemble in what they say is an hour. Wow, it's a it's a pretty good deal. You know, that is it's awesome. Not just, it's oh, yeah. not just for experienced people, right? And what's the neat and beauty of that? You know, when it breaks, you put it together, so you know how to fix it. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, and he knows what it's like to be properly assembled. Right. So he knows when something's wrong, or, or whomever built it knows when something's wrong. Knows right. when a shock's blown out, knows when a gear is stripped, and then has the confidence to replace it. Right. We see a lot of times with the ready-to-run cars that most people come in and drop their cars off with us, which is not a problem. Uh, but they are, don't have the confidence to rebuild it. They need right. to drop it off with us for a couple of days so we can get it fixed. Right. Them. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's one thing I like about RCs. That's how oh, yeah. it kind of went from the first mechanical thing I ever did as a kid was these RC cars and then went to real cars and then now back to RC cars well, when the real first, cars stress you out. I the Blackfoot and that was 1989, Yeah, I believe, when I got that car. And I put it part of, part of the way together and did exactly like what Hunter said. I got a little scared and I paid somebody else to yeah. do it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a gateway into a lot of stuff. One of our employees... 
started out flying when he was a young kid right and the the skill of learning how to fly an rc plane he's a real pilot today he just yeah. got his pilot's license two weeks ago right congratulations to him hours. yeah um for me i started out with a slash when i was 10 years old and it's led to a love of full-size cars full-size off-road rigs you know full-size oh, yeah. vehicles in general yep that now is is another hobby of mine so. yeah you know, it's definitely it, it's definitely a good building block for anything. It is definitely. I agree. Do you still have your first slash? I don't. My first slash is gone, but my first rock crawler, which was a wraith, I got when I was about eleven. I oh, still nice. Have oh, that's today. cool. Yeah, you can still see some of my eleven-year-old kid in the truck. Yeah, I've, I've tried to clean it up, but it's it's, it's still there. Yeah, no, there's that some, that's some awesome. Stuff on it for sure. That's awesome. Well, um, guess we'll walk around the store yeah, and just kind of yeah, see stuff. everything. Um. No, There's y'all. A lot to look at. Yeah, so I guess. Uh, look a lot of cars. Let's go check out some planes. Yeah, let's start from the corner and we'll work away. Yeah. Thanks, Hunter. Yep, if you got any questions, let me know. Sounds awesome. good. We've all had those days. Yep. <laughs> So here in the corner, uh, Alan and I don't have much plane experience, but we yeah. do have experience with these Rage RCs. So uh, yes. take it away, Alan. Since uh, oh, yeah. yeah, these are a great little entry level way to learn how to fly. I've never never flown a plane in my life, and uh, we got this one here, the Trojan, and it was super easy. Like on on the first run to get it up in the air and fly. I think I did like at least a two, three minute flight before I crashed. It. Yeah. Which we actually, we still have a clip of that. I'm going to put a link to that and yeah. I had a little clip, but uh, Alan did crash it into a bush at full speed and it's still uh, flyable to this day. Oh yeah. You crash these things. All that really ever happens to mine is it just props, pops the prop off yep. and they have props right here. Uh, well, those are for the they Latrax. Have, yeah, they're out of stock right now, but um, normally they have them. Yeah, and they're they're great planes. Um, I know uh, Uncle Fester crashed yeah. this one, and yeah. Oh! But not just that, guys. It stood in the tree in the rain for, for two days. Two days, yeah. Two, yeah, two days. Two three days, and uh, it still flies to this day. Yep. And my little brother has this Micro Warbird here, and uh, the Mitsubishi Zero, and it still flies pretty good. It's had multiple crashes. Um. Damien, a guy I know who can fly more experienced. He has this one, I think, the Thunderbolt. And we ended up uh, smacking it with a tennis racket. We oh! cracked it, and then we just glued it, and it still flies to this day. So if you yeah. want a starter plane, definitely recommend these here. Yeah, um, it's that's a great just, price. Great yeah, price. 109, and they're pretty durable. I know the flight characteristics of them I know probably isn't flying. perfect, but if you're a beginner like us, you, you don't care. You yeah, know, exactly. You're just getting into it. But, um, yeah, there's so much cool stuff here. We got this little Stinger GPS FPV drone with camera. We've got the little pro boat here, another pro boat here. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Here's the Micro Warbird plane just yeah, right out and about. Look at that. Beautiful. This is sweet. Super, super realistic for what it's, you know, for a foam plane. Yeah. It's super realistic. Again, super easy to fly. Super easy to fly. It is, and I um, mean, here's the servo uh, cabinet right here, full yeah. of a whole bunch of servos. Yeah, you got Traxxas, you got um, reefs, reefs, some Eco Powers, and some Savox. But uh, definitely uh, jump on the Savox. I've broken a lot of Eco Powers. This is my opinion. Y'all might have different uh, experiences, but that's my, my ours. Too, not really. Uh... I think it's more of like a crawler type of servo. It's not right. really definitely a basher. Because I have one in a crawler and it works pretty good. But I know with bashing, we've definitely take them out. But, you know, it all just depends uh, yeah. on your driving. Alan and I like to drive it till it pretty much breaks on half. Exactly. And that, that's why I go with the $26 servos yeah. on Amazon. Because, you know, these are 90 That's red servo that I put in my Revo is 90 bucks. Yeah, we just break them all. Yeah, and just, they just snap. So I'd yeah. much rather if I'm going to spend the time and you know going through buy a cheap servo yeah because it's only gonna last so long anyway yeah just <laughs> yeah i have you know you've had a lot more problems with servos i would say alan but yeah. you uh yeah. do have bigger bashers so yes, it's just... exactly i have a lot of big scale cars, a lot of eight scale and ten scale cars so right i'm bashing hitting them hard um you know i got my quarter pipe jump that i use all the time my yeah ramp, i use that all the time and I'm right my car's eight feet in the air yeah you know, I have skate parks, been to the skate park with all of my cars. Um, it's not really something I like to do anymore. But yeah. I'm more of a dirt basher now. Yeah. I tend to last a little bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a good tip of the day right there. Yeah. Yeah. A tip of the day would be definitely, um, you know, 
stay away from the skate park unless you're willing to spend a lot of money. Well, yeah. But again, that's why I put all the M2C stuff on, on the on the one crate. Yep. So I could do that. All for a curb to take it out. Yep. All for a curb <laughs> to break the one part I couldn't get. <laughs> yep. Then we got the Renault F1 car here that's been a nice display car. And there's actually a whole little list here of um, just kind of information. It's just always been a, yeah, a neat um, display piece here. It doesn't get driven. Yeah, it's always one of my favorite yeah. things to come back and look at when we're here. Yeah, no, it just looks good in the shelf there. I mean, it's a nice, nice piece. Yes. yes. Um, so, yeah. And then, of course, we've got um, from Upgrade RC, I believe A-Main is the one who came out with these. Yes. So. They're mostly a uh, tenth scale, but you know they feel pretty nice. I mean, like little competitor to the pro line, here. so I don't know. Alan loves to collect wheels and tires, so yeah. he'll probably be two, trying them out soon. Two huge bins full of used tires. Yeah. Matter of fact, I had to put one on the Max because I ripped one of the Max tires the other day. Yeah, and then here's all the little crawler stuff. Yeah. Which uh, guys on this tour, we're, uh, we're gonna have to kind of skim over things because it we could be here forever and make like a four hour video. There's yeah. so much in the store. But, um, yeah, just little crawler stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, racing stuff. Yeah, Fury um, Tech, got some hot crate, racing. Some hot racing crate and stuff. And uh, definitely, like, the steering servos. Yeah. The knuckles and limiting straps. Yep, just a lot, lot of parts. Yeah. Obviously, more planes, FMS, Hobby Zone, E-Flight. Just so much. And then, of course, go over here. we got the little Mojave Groms brushed. This one's neat, but now with a brushless, you know, you're looking at $60 difference. Yeah. You're getting over $150 worth of upgrade parts. But the value is here. Yeah. The value is right here, and it comes in two different colors. You get this nice America-style color. That's just kind of what I nicknamed yeah, it, red, white, and blue. But the pink and purple one is also really cool. I yes. really like it. Yes, when I saw that online, I thought that was That's a cool it. color. Definitely, for sure. Yeah definitely a cool color for sure it is and then we got a nice little ultimate rustler down here a green one peeking through that box art look at that it just looks so sinister yeah. it is sweet i like the way Traxxas oh, no. makes their boxes that's for sure they do i mean Trax has got it down with marketing i mean yeah. they they got some cool ads the box art and just put that up in your hobby room just mm. oh yeah free art yeah. well not free you bought the rc but it's a little bonus yeah you get to decorate your room with rc stuff. yeah then the VXL brush list. These ones are really neat. All the small crawlers. I like this 3D printed rocks. I mean, it, yeah, it just says right there, TRX4M Park. Got the nice little SCX24 Rubicon. Got the little um, Bronco here, but look at that. It's got a Fury Tech brushless yeah, motor in it. I believe they had all of these crawlers out at the, uh, oh, the off-road show. Oh, yes, with the Overland show they had at the... Um, yeah, they had a crawler stuff. We were trying to get Hunter to uh, put it up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, though. A little Komodo micro brushless. Right. These little ones are neat. I just, I never really got super into modifying the small ones to a crazy amount. Just because, I mean, small RC is really cool, but it can, it's not cheaper all the time. So that's a misconception. Yeah. People think a small RC adds up to be cheaper but now you'll you'll spend just as much as a full-size rig exactly but they are neat so here we got a nice arma parts wall alan yes this is one of the things i like about um jake's is that they have everything sectioned off so this is all axial yep all around right with pro line tires okay? for crawlers for crawlers and then here are all your arma parts right doesn't matter if it's 10th scale, 8th scale, 5th scale. They, uh, this is all the armor parts. That they have. Front lower suspension arms, one pair, $20. So is this, this is off the bigger. Yeah, I want to say that's off the 8S crate. Oh, wow. Because these. That's what you have, the yeah. 6S ones. Yeah, these are the 6S. Others, wow, I believe. that's a big difference. Yeah, I mean, just in the size of the arms themselves. Wow. 8S to success that is neat yeah, right. and then you yeah. just you and got this like, here's 3s right so 6s to 3s look at yeah. the size difference there yep between the arms so for you alan now that you've you know you're relative well what about a year or two years into rc what uh what would you recommend someone getting into them well it, it all depends on what you want to do 
if it was me, I love to bash. I love to do wheelies. I love spin outs. I love right. to jump in my car. So I'm going for a basher. And if I was to say my beginner basher, I'm going to start right where I started. Right here. VXL 4x4 slash. Right there. That's where I started. That was one of my, that was, I think, my second RC car. Yep. Was what I bought was that. And then my third RC car was the uh, uh, low C SCX 24. Yeah. 24 scale crawl. Yep. So um, that that truck right there is perfect. Perfect for a beginner. Yeah, no. I agree. I mean, they're top here. Here we've got a BL2S right here. But, you know, suspension wise, it's going to be pretty much a similar truck. But these things are yeah, durable. I mean, it's just, just the suspension alone. Like, yeah. I mean, you can sit here and I mean with it. And they've been out since i think it came out in 2007 they've been updated ever since and they've just kind of worked out all the kinks on them just a great truck super durable they're fast it's faster than the arma Sentin. but if you're an arma fan you can go with the arma but you know alan with these 10 skills short courses you know i think tracks is, is take takes the win yeah. now as far as monster trucks you own that tracks is max right there and you also own two cratons what, what do you like i know they're different trucks they're not really the same thing no they're they're not because the creighton is a truggy right and the max is a truck yeah monster truck yeah, yeah. so it's they're two different types of bashing in, in a way right um creighton it, being a truggy is more low to the ground and a little bit longer right right with a little bit wider stance so you get a little bit more stability where yep. the max is shorter body but a shorter frame shorter wheel weight Right. So you get a little less stability right. for a truck. So more dirt bashing and whatnot. Creighton's more harder dirt bashing, grass, things like that. Yeah. So, but if I had to pick, it would be a hard pick. I'd have to go with my Creighton. Right. I'd have to go. Because that was my first real big match. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, the Max is becoming my definite number two. Right, right. Definite number two. I beat the hell out of that car. Yeah, and it takes it, exactly. you know? I mean, there's just... I bought it used from you, right? Yeah. You beat the hell out of it. I did. And then all I've had to do is I went up to steel CVDs on right. it. Right. 17-millimeter hexes instead of the little plastic nuts. Right. And then uh, I just put a stock server on it. Yeah. And that's all I've really had to replace. Right? Yeah, and it's, it's that, been good. Uh, so, I mean, you really can't pick... Traxxas, Arma, you kind of got to have them all. They each are a different flavor. It's not like, you know, you go get ice cream, you, you try different ones. It's the yeah, same don't, stuff. Don't, don't be a fanboy and stick to one thing. If yeah. that's what you want to do, hey, that's your, that's your, that's your get down. You do it. But me, I like to leave it open. I've got Losin Bashers, I've got Arma Bashers, and I've got Traxxas Bashers. Yep. They all have their, their good points and bad points. And I can't say... Yeah. Which one I'd really just go with. Right. Because there's just so much stuff to do and so much fun. So, yep. But being an Ar first starting in Arma with my big bashers, I know uh, yeah, we do. That that's the way to go. For me. Yeah. Right. Definitely. I mean, they are they are great. Yeah. You know, it, they they offer EXB parts, which are all your aluminum parts. Extreme Bash is what that stands for. Yeah. But um, which I'm bumping my crate up to. Like I've got this is pins. Uh, suspension pin set. Right. Um, I'm about ready to put one in another one. Uh, I put in the wing mount, which I think they have. The wing mount. No, it's strut, strut tower mount. Uh, it's the one where you have to drill it out, right, and get it a bit bigger. Yeah, I had to drill it because I went to the M2C shock stand. Right, which so are thicker. The, but it'd be the AXB version. Of right. This. So it's red. It's red anodized. Like yeah, that. there it is. All yeah. stuff to strengthen up your truck, and that's why you got. Oh, here it is, right here. Yeah. Anodized yeah. CNC. Yep. Extreme bash dish. So if you guys are on the fence, you know RC car stuff, dude, just go for it. They're serviceable. Exactly. I mean, they're fun. Just limit yourself with anything, whether it be tools or anything and hobby and this life. <laughs> just always put with moderation, and and it's fine. You know. Yep. See, like this, this right here. So. They don't just sell that piece. I got to buy a whole new box just to get that phone. Yep. <laughs> yep. So certain things, you know, there isn't super individualized, but, yeah. you know, it gives you other like kind stuff that kind of goes with it. Exactly. So if I had to say anything, definitely I would have, if I would have known what I know when I first bought mine, I probably would have waited for the EXB. Right. And bought the EXB right off the bat because it comes with all those parts. And you save money versus buying all the parts individually. Well, think about it. This is twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, thirty dollars for this. Fourteen dollars. Probably exactly eight dollars, including the diff, which they don't have. The chassis is different too. That's a whole fifty bucks, I think. 
uh, and yeah. for an uh, EXP chassis. Yeah, I it's, think. A, it's a thicker aluminum. Yeah. It's a thicker aluminum. Yeah, so sometimes, guys, you know, that's the thing. If, if you're going to be hard and you're going to be pushing it, it's better to spend more in the beginning because it saves you money in the long run. Exactly. It comes yep. with all the upgraded parts that you need, so you might as well just go with it. But yeah, now here we are on the uh, crawler section, guys. Got the TRX4 Sport, the TRX4 K5 Blazer. It's a beautiful 72 Blazer. Then we got a square body Blazer there for all the square body fans like myself. Uh, we got the Axial Base Camp Tacoma, which um, it's not a license like a Tacoma. They call it the Base Camp, but we know that that's a Tacoma. Yeah. Then we got what looks to be a, a, a Scout look-alike truck, but, you know, it's pretty neat. Got the uh, what looks to be a Jeep truck here from vanquish just a lot of cool stuff here all axial all these cool crawlers oh yeah the 10s yep got the renegade jeep right there nice cj6 the square body i believe yeah we got the step side square body scx10 up there beautiful and it's the 4i nice 80s one yeah. Oh, the capper right there. What, oh, yeah. They're great. They crawl good. The only oh, yeah. thing is, is they're a pain to work on because of the cage, you know? Yeah. That's with any RC. The more cage, the more realistic it looks, the harder it is to repair. Exactly. But, um, yeah, but just, they, work. they do. do one of these, uh, kits I had a bomber. I had a bomber, but I got rid of it just breaking oh, stuff. And Oh, uh, Kyle did. Kyle ended up putting a kit together. He did the TRX4 kit. Uh -huh. And then I ended up buying a Vanquish Carbon kit, but I found a good deal on it. And I just, you know, I just had to buy it. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Look at this right there. They keep polishing the bottoms. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the caps. What do the caps do? So the caps usually used to. So, Alan, you're talking about that Blackfoot. Yeah. It was this Aero car, Tamiya, from the 80s, man. Yep. And back when I did them, they didn't come with the hobby wing receivers. Yeah. Or anything you needed to get. You had to buy all that stuff separate. So, yep. they were. They were twice that price. That is $169. Yeah. Right? And the like, lunchbox is a great truck. Yeah, I could have swore I built uh, mine in the 80s. It was like $400. In the 1980s. Yeah, in the 1980s. So in today's money, adjust for inflation, you're about seven, 800 bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a lot of money. Yes, it is. It's a ton. But dude, yeah, what an experience. What yeah. fun to put them together. They are fun. And I uh, listen, I've built a few. Here's a little link to the videos. They're going to be in the description, guys, if you want to check those out. But um, yeah, and then we got the Super Clod Buster, which is cool. They call it a 4x4x4 pickup, four-wheel drive four-wheel steer um obviously it doesn't perform the best it's just a cool retro thing it's more of the experience just a little blast from the past that's what these rcs are going to achieve here um the experience is, is what what you're doing it for you want performance you want to go fast well not recommended but i've done it i did put a vxl 3s in that lunchbox and, it, and it's fun i mean it blew up the gears after like 12 packs when i did that double backflip but um it was impressive these are basically meant for your backyard just messing around a little dirt right? yeah yeah they're they're not very fast but they but are fun they also this, i'd also like to point out he says uh two, two motors. motors yeah yeah front axle rear axle yeah, so it's a uh, motor on axle setup i believe um but uh yeah, yeah not, not the quickest but fun yeah still fun Fun. Now onto your favorite thing, tires. Uh -huh. Just so many. Put them in my arm. Put them in my arm. <laughs> I have an addiction to tires, man. Um, Just I like I have addiction of... to ratchets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mine is RC car tires. I don't buy a lot of new ones, but I do buy a lot of used ones. Yeah. Buy, yeah. When there's great deals, I mean, I've gotten. If if you look at let's it. let's get an example here. So so like here's an example right here. This this set of belted tires is yep. sixty nine dollars for two two. Okay, and there's 17 millimeter hexes. I've gotten six sets for sixty dollars. Yeah. So like ten bucks a set. For yeah. All four. You're saving fifty dollars exactly. a set right and there. And still good tires. They're yeah. Still good tires. Yeah. I've yet to have one. I've had, I think I have one. That's the. Uh, three of them are bad three of them are good but one of them has like a little split right? yeah yeah you had a split so it's 40 bucks right there you yeah. get a pair and that's just kind of the way it goes but you know it's better than rc cars that you can't service anything you can get by wheels you can buy tires it breaks you fix it mm -hmm. and it's not the end of the world exactly. you know and it's just just exactly. drive accordingly how you want to drive it and uh yeah and these things are pretty durable man you got to do a lot to really mess them up i mean i have a set uh well buck your yeah. dog yeah he's my dog, buck. <laughs> He, lo he loves RC car, chasing his RC car, and they, they weren't trenchers. I think they're the Baja. Right. The Baja. I don't see any. High racks, demolishers, but, you know, it pretty much looks like yeah. this, oh, guys. Here yeah. Here they are, right here. That exact tire. This exact tire here, the Baja. Here's the part number. 
Now, I have a 110 pound Shepalusky. So, if you don't know what that is, it's a Shepherd Rottweiler Husky mix. <laughs> and he literally grabs this thing like this and throws the RC car around. Um, and after about 10 throws, he finally got through the sidewall one, which I'm just going to glue and let him do it again. Yeah. So, so yeah, shout out to Proline uh, yeah. Racing to bring you the best. Yeah, they are pretty much dog approved, I would say. Yes, these, these tires are very, very durable. They very are. Durable. Now look at this guys so alan and i haven't ventured onto the big big scale yet but this is some big old stuff for an x max 8s creighton look yes. at that Built 24 in. millimeter hex holy cow looking at 90 dollars a pair you're looking at about 220 dollars for a set of tires yeah, for one of those bad boys yeah right that's, but, a, that's a lot for a, for a car but hey yeah you gotta, then, you gotta have them you the upgrade RCs. This is the competitor to them now at $36. So you're looking at about $10 less than Proline stuff. Haven't tried them out yet. Alan will probably end up getting a yeah. set on the used markets, and that's how he likes to roll. So yeah. we don't have any opinion on these yet, other than they feel good, they look good, price isn't bad, but that's well, about did, all we did, can did say. The ones you put on your Mac Flash weren't those made for them? No, I ended up doing, I did Pro Line. Yeah, that's right. I did right. the Pro Lines, is what I ended up putting on them. And here we got some Arma tires, um, some NASCAR tires, which is cool. Super stiff. Just a stiff tire compound. Yeah, so that's one thing. The, the stiffer the tire, the longer it lasts, but the less traction you get. So it's exactly. all finding that in-between yeah. stuff. And tires, if you get a ready-to-run RC car, tires is the first thing to Im dramatically Go. improve your car. Yes, it exactly. really is, you know? The only car I've bought in straight out of the box that didn't need any tires was my Low C8 XT. Right, which came with Pro-Line tires yeah, from the factory. With, it came with Pro-Line pin tires. And wheels, too, although yeah. this says these Team Mosey Racing. The racing ones. Right, but they, they do they did come with them, so that, that is pretty neat. Yeah, and I again, that car, I didn't have to do anything. It just right. ripped and did what it needed to do on the carpet when it needed to do it. Yep. So. And then I've had these ones here, the Hoons, the Arma Hoons. How do you like these? They're stiff as heck, but oh, you can't burn them off. If, if you're looking to just sit there and drift in a car, those are perfect. Yeah. You're never going to burn them off. And that's what comes factory, I believe, with all the street bashers from yep. Arma or all these uh, just hard compound tires. They last so long, and oh, I mean, yeah. they are tough. What's cool, too, is these Toyo Proxies here. This is just like a real life Toyo Proxy. That is neat. Yep, right here from like Proline. It's all for the street cars, that felony, the Arma felony, which is which is pretty neat. Um, the Fortress off the 3S uh, granite and big rock. Yep, all the 10 scales here. And then the little guys off of like the truck we were driving today. Here it is. Little D-boot Fortress for the uh, 18 scale, Yeah. which is awesome. More 8 uh, scale. Now, this is interesting, Alan. I know you're into monster trucks. These Duratrax wheels and tires here. Look at this. Yeah. I have never, I don't know if they've been here this whole time, but I think they have. Uh, these are pretty, pretty scale, pretty uh, soft compound on them. Just a bunch of foam in there. for like the Claude Buster. If I was to put that on the LMT, dude, that would be You think so? I'd blow them out. I'd blow them right off. I mean, first. the LMT's a big 10 scale, but it's not really 8. It's just a big 10 scale, right? They sell it as a 10 scale, but it's. Technically, I believe it's an eight scale. Right. Well, they said ten scale with eight scale running gears, yeah, so it's I, its I, weird own thing. Yeah, it forms just like my ten scales. Right. Yeah. So, and it's not as long as my eight scales. Right. So, yeah, this here would I would think would go on like the Arma Grom Gorgon or something. I'm not sure, but these Duratraxes are are neat. They've definitely been here for a while. There's a tag on them that I can't there. really see. Yeah. yeah. There, you can't yeah. see that at all. They've been here this whole time. We've just always overlooked them. Yep. Oh, wait. There's a part number. Yeah, there is that part number. It's the Duratrax Munition MT 2.2. That is pretty cool. They're just hella flimsy. They are. And then we got the Traxxas tires here, all the stock stuff. Pretty cool. A lot of nice stuff here. Got the small wheel and tires here. Soft compound, but... Yeah, matter of fact, I might be. So, well, you might be buying something today on the video. No, actually, I found oh. this. I found a set of these. It's either these ones, okay, on marketplace for twenty bucks. Wow! And these are thirty-six bucks. Yeah, it's twenty for all four. I just got to travel like two hours from my house to get. <laughs> 
And so is that your tip of the day? Just find good, gently used parts. Exactly. Yeah. Marketplace is a place to check out. Yeah. It definitely is. You find some good deals, you find some bad deals. Like this here, uh, Todd, over at the Fishbowl, we do the Lozy Racing and stuff. And here you get a pair of tires for $18.99. He sells a pair of used tires for 5 to $10. Just depends on the season, which is, you know, savings. Exactly. But again, if you need them, well, they're all right here, which is which is nice. And it's cool because, you know, sometimes you just need the fresh tire. Because sometimes, you know, with some big cars, you know, you, oh, yeah. you kind of... Tire, tire makes all the difference yeah. depending on what you're driving on. Yeah, because... Driving on concrete or don't right. put a dirt tire on the concrete because it's yeah, not going to... You're going to eat it up. Yeah. And that's the thing, you know, if you have a bad tire, lose control, brake. Well, now you need a tire, parts, and whatever, and it happens. And we got some uh, drift go. wheels, too, here from MST, which is neat. Very scale. Um, we're not really super into drifting, but uh, it's, it's here. Not very, it's very neat. scale. It is nice. It looks just like the real thing. Black, gold. Yeah. Chrome. Yep. We got the Swagger full drive pink compound, just tires. But look at this. That big of a foam for that small of a tire. Interesting. And then also here, the, on the daily deliveries, UPS is dropping off more stuff. All the time. Yep. Every day. Just everything here. Yep, we have some small size brakes. Supposedly, you get those super safe for kids. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the boats would be a great, like, like, those are probably the easiest thing to do on your own. Because um, you just toss a battery in them and, and go. Okay. Dude, RPM parts. A lot of My RPM parts. My favorite part section here. Right? Yeah. When I break stock stuff, this is what we put on. Oh, yeah. No, that's it. I think it's going to be my next summer's jump in is boats. Boats? That way when I'm on the jet ski, if you flip your boat, I'll go retrieve it. I think if you get one, you just got to get the fastest boat. Get one of those Oxydeen Marine boats. Or... Well, those are pretty expensive, actually. They're carbon. I think it's like $1,000. How much is this? Spartan? We, we are, Hunter. So I have a question. I know you do a lot of repairs. And, you know, we do, you know, mechanic stuff. Uh, do you want to show us your... Um, I guess shop portion of it. Shop portion is all it's all included in the same stuff. So this is our workbench right here. Okay. This is where we do about 90% of all our repairs and everything in here is just drawers of RC tools and bits and files and Loctite wow. and Allen's oils and grease. Everything you need to wrench on nitro cars, Ooh. program servos, our little vice that we've beaten up over the years. These are all our instruction manuals for all the cars we've had Holy as demos. Cow. So this is to this is probably four years worth of demo cars. Dang. Um, these Gloves. are to show you guys how many repairs we do. This is one repair book, and I've probably got a stack of about twenty or thirty of these. And the time of how many span of this? This this table's about seven years old. So that's how long we've poured it on these books wow and then we more recently swapped over to all electronics so we got away from the handbooks oh okay um shock stands that i've made shock stands that are um products wow. we have nitro fuels um everything's in here to work on anything that walks through the door whether it's fifth scale gas nitro anything what about small super small super small i got i got tiny tools you want to talk about tiny Look at that. Micro, micro. Micro. This is an 050. So that's 050. 50 thousandths of an inch. Um, yeah. <laughs> little little tiny guys. This is an RC car. Yeah. Look Fully at... working little car. Wow. Um, and then back here is just our storage area. So right oh, now nice. we have boats we're working on, um, Revos, Slashes. We've got a Wraith that's torn apart. Another M41. 6S Creighton. Whoa. That's actually a duck decoy in that toolbox right there. That really? somebody dropped off for us to re-solder. Oh, wow. Um, so that's pretty much our storage area um, for repairs. Awesome. So we work on, on anything. It's wow. Literally anything that walks through the door. Um, we did a... I'll actually show you one of my more favorite repairs we did recently. Okay. It wasn't even a repair, technically. This guy wanted... Oh, that's a nice boat. Yeah, M41. This guy wanted 
and electronics upgrades. So what we did was come in here and modify the motor mount to accept a 8S motor and an 8S speed control. And you can see under here, I actually built a carbon fiber plate wow. that this speed control sits on. And then we redid the cooling system to accept this because it's got a dual in, dual out oh, wow. on this. Rewired it to actually fit because this is not the original intended orientation right, of all right. this stuff. So from custom builds to simple stuff, we literally will do anything RC related. Wow. Um, the only time we reject stuff is if it's a car we can get stuff for. Right. So sometimes Red Cat stuff we have to, um, we can't work on. Right. Sometimes with the vintage stuff, we can't work on it. I don't have my Tamaya kit that we had up here. There was, um, yeah. Sometimes, you know, sometimes there's just stuff we can't get. And right. I won't work on anything that, you know, if I broke apart on any of these cars. Right. It was my fault, one of my guys' fault. I would fix it. I would repair it and no charge to the customer because it's on me. Right. If I can't get those parts, I won't work on it. Right. If there's something that breaks, I need to be able to supply those parts to the customer to get them fixed. Right. If I can't do that, I won't work on it. Right. Okay. Um, Makes sense. Unless, I mean, you know, obviously if he comes and says, I, I don't care, you got to fix it. You're the only guy. I don't care what you break. I just need it running. Yeah. And, you know, that's a special usage case. But for the most part, if I can get parts for it, we'll work on it. Cool. Whether it's airplanes, we are doing a repair on airplanes. Like it doesn't. Wow. We, we don't, we don't discriminate. I'll yeah. Anything. Yeah. And I mean, is, is that a Traxxas Summit? This is a Summit. We did wow. a tractor swap on. We've been updating some guys' boats and cars, so we did EC5s on it. Just a pretty simple update. Wow. And this is actually his boat, and that is his boat. They're all together on separate shelves. Oh, nice. Um, this Wraith is getting upgraded access housing, so these were the originals. Oh, wow. And then... And this going, was like your first RC, uh, crawler, this right? This was one of my first... Right. This isn't my first crawler, right, but, but this model. was, this is yeah. the same thing. We're going to these SSD diamond housings. Wow. And then here's the front buried under all these parts which we are waiting on um waiting on a part form i don't remember exactly what but these are going in that wow so just a lot of custom stuff that you guys do here not just stock stuff custom yeah, things this and... is a stock repair so right. this car broke a motor actually the max Blew yeah the motor up so you can see all the stock tags and everything right Bolted a fresh motor in it here's the old chubby laying here oh yeah just replacing this one's a stock repair just needs a new rod end oh and a drive shaft which the drive shafts are laying right here yep um so we do we do anything right we do everything yeah i'm not afraid of just any repair right um and that's part of our job yeah is we like in any industry you want to be the experts in your field right it's very seldom someone comes in with more knowledge than my guys collectively can and then my guys collectively have right um you know it's kind of like if you go to a mechanic shop yeah between you alan you know your other techs your guys' knowledge yep. is more than what any one person's going to walk in with right yep and we have the same idea here you know i am not a pro at airplanes but i have a guy who's yeah. a pro at airport. Right. Which... I'm not a pro at micros, but I have a guy who's a pro at micros. Right. I do a lot of crawlers and bashers. So the Arma cars, the summits, I do a lot of boats. My personal boat collection exceeds 20. <laughs> um, wow. I actually have my own custom chassis that I've built for rock crawlers, designed and cut um, out of, out of uh, carbon fiber. Wow. That's my specialty. Uh, crawlers, right. bashers, that kind of stuff is, is I know like the back of my hand. Right. Um, Tim, my other guy, uh, he's very similar along the lines of me, but he also has been in the hobby a lot longer. So he does a lot of vintage stuff. Right. I don't know the vintage stuff as well. Right. So I try and equip my shop with all the tools it needs as far as people are concerned to handle any job that walks through the door. Right. Um, Just have a good team yeah. that's well-versed. That's exactly. awesome, man. That's, yeah. That's part of it. So this is, you know, definitely a big part of our business is doing the repairs. So if you don't want to do them, we can. Right. Um, that's that's a huge part for sure. Awesome. Well, thanks, Hunter. I mean, just a lot of good info. You know, it's a nice uh, hobby shop you've got here. Just a good variety of everything. Place to be when I'm not at work. Yeah. You know, between <laughs> no, the two. It's your favorite place to be when you're not at home. Yes, that too. 
<laughs> I, I'm I'm literally uh, an hour and forty five minutes away. I come all the way here to come to the hobby shop. There's hobby shops up by me that are actually closer, but I love it here at Jake's. So I'm faithful to my my, my company. Yeah, we a, do our best to keep this shop as diversely stocked as we can. We right. Don't want you know we do our best to not make it one thing. Right. Know? Yeah. We try and do all a bunch of rock crawler stuff. You know, yeah. basically I mean, allow the guys I've hired to you know do what they their expertise in right you know have a rock crawler section for me to nerd out with the rock crawler guys yeah. airplane section for aiden to nerd yeah. out with the airplane guys we bring in small stuff for hayden and the you know the groms stuff. yeah um, which my, they've been great <laughs> yeah the groms have been great <laughs> yeah um, my dad because he does a lot of boats too my dad right. works with me and my dad, you know, we have a, a decently extensive boat section. Right. Um, yeah, there's a lot of nice to, boats. To run boats. That's actually his jet stream right there that we were running in our flooded creek a couple days ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, big big cars. We have big car selection, X-Max stuff, X-Max parts. Um, you know, for the guys who want to do electronics, we carry a pretty extensive selection of upgrade, factory replacement, whatever you want electronics. Um, tools, so our, lots and lots of tools. I'm sure, you guys walk. Oh, not them. yet. Yeah, That's we're, we're, we're waiting. Going we're yeah, going next to the tools. So. tools. so <laughs> we do our best to make sure that we're not stuck in any one particular rut or any one particular genre of RC because there's so many. Yeah. Um, we've taken our small little store and small little footprint and tried to pack as much stuff as we physically can. Like we couldn't, we can't. Get more yeah. I mean, there. look at this guys. It is just loaded any more than this. It'd just be a horde and it just, you yeah, know, it looks yeah. nice. You it's can not. Still walk around, yeah. Still get around. Um, and we've even do non, you know, non hobby stuff. We got into doing the Warhammer plastic model stuff and we really try and work with our community to, to stock what, what they want right yeah you know we we really pride ourselves on being that local hobby shop the local hobby shop yeah um, support the local anymore there really isn't guys so if you guys have a local hobby shop definitely sure support them so yeah sure you support them though. yeah and if you're around here in sonoma county marin county mendocino county lake county, county. Lake county. Get, drive on over here to Katadi, Jake's Performance Hobbies, and Place just to be. yeah, just a lot of cool stuff Always. here. Always, we're, we're we're here what two three times a week. At yeah, least. at least yeah. at least. <laughs> yeah. Well, are you asking or your wife's asking? <laughs> no, I'm asking. I'm oh, asking. Alyssa knows <laughs> how often I'm here. <laughs> Every time <to> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then what's also cool is, I mean, you know, commuting and everything, there you've got the board, and uh, I don't know who that is. He looks God, familiar. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> put a sticker yeah. on yeah. the Screaming and hollering and walking out. Yeah, we, and we support our local guys. So this is our local drift track that's actually right across the street from us. This is our local train shop, which is across the freeway from us. And oh, nice. this is the hobby shop that Alan was talking about. They do a lot of race car stuff. They are definitely a lot more specialized than we are. Right. Because they have a racetrack. But these guys are great. They come down and buy from us all the time when they don't have stuff in stock. Right. Um, and we do. And, and these guys, all these guys, we support all these guys. Yep. Great. Some automotive, bicycles. Because, you know, it's cool. It's like, you know, we go yeah. on do the bike rides. There's guys who know RCs, going to cars, you know, cars, RCs, tools. It all just kind of goes mm -hmm. hand in hand. It and, all goes hand in hand. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's just, it's awesome. There you got nice sign here. You got free built. I don't know if that's a current promo, but um, it, that's the cool Traxxas marketing. Uh, it's still a promo. Yeah, it's still a promo. Free belted tires when you buy this XRT, you know. Just a lot of cool um, signs you got. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got your... Uh, These are all... Trophies yeah, up there. Yeah, so back here, this was, this was the poster that was released when the Slash Modified came out. Right. Um, these are all our kind of oopsie props that we've had over the years. These are all our trophies that I've won at other local hobby shops and local racetracks. A couple of our um, guys who do, this guy does, his kid does a bunch of sprint car racing that we support. This was a sprint car racer who won his class wow. and donated his panels to us. Um, you know, we try and stock everything we can in our on our tiny little store. Yes, sir, and you do an amazing job Great at job. it. Yes, Great sir. Job. Well, tools, tools, tools. So got body pins. Clips, yep. Body pins. The Bright ones so when them. they fly off, right. <laughs> you can find them easier. Well, I've gone to, I'm going to these. Yeah. The 45 degree clips. So They're a lot better. Pull. They're way better yeah. to take off. The straight ones are really hard and that 45 degree just. Yeah, they're just so hard, especially when you have a finger that's all messed up. You can't really grab a hold of it and pull. Yeah. So. Now, a big thing here as far as tools is right here. 
this one I've always been been on the fence, you know. It's a Sky RC, you know, it's high dollar, you know, it's 140. It's from what I think is the most premium tool set that is carried here. But what do you think, Alan? It is nice. Beautiful set of tools, man. Yeah, I mean we spend a lot on tools to fix or you know, fix full cars. So what about an RC car? I mean, look at this. Yeah. This is super nice. You got the shock. You got the shock tool. Is that what that is? No, this is a body reamer. Wow. But this is a shock tool here. So you can grip your shocks and your shafts and everything and, and not mess them up and scar them so you're ripping seals. Wow. But that, there's your body reamer, your body cutter. You've got all your Allens and all of your your nut drivers. Wow. Like, you will take off wheels on smaller cars, but you're not going to take, like, 17 millimeter hex off with that. Yeah. But. I feel like this is for, like, that 10th scale racer is what this is for. That is a very beautiful tool. Like, I don't know if you can really see that, but that's hollow inside. Yeah. Right? Completely hollow. It just feels, it's light in your hand. It feels yep. nice. It's got good grip to it. Like, I'm not... Yeah. No, it's a premium tool right there. Exactly. So, when it comes to tools, yes, it, it's worth it to spend a little extra money. Because when I first got in, I bought this set. And... The most garbage set ever. Yeah. Volunteered that thing out three different times. Yeah. But again, when it comes to price, you got to get what you can get. So for me, what I recommend on a budget, and it works really good, are these Racer's Edge right here. Yeah. They work great. They're nice. They don't come in a fancy case, but you know, you're know you looking at $20 versus $140. So it's a, a big price difference. You know, this is for that more professional kind of level of RC racer kind of guy. But you know, if you're just kind of, you know, in it, just kind of more chill, I guess. Yeah. This Racer's Edge right here works just fine. They work good. I like the cap, how it kind of spins. So it lets you to kind of yeah, spin them off quicker. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. And this is a good tool um like that says 14 and up not a toy <laughs> right. but yeah just a lot of just bit drivers we got a little um rubber parts tray here the stock one here this is used to uh tighten up the uh the slipper clutch on those 4s or the, axle nuts. not not four by four yeah so just a little nice factory tool that they got there we got this pinion gear caddy to carry all your pinion gears it's more for the racer not really bashers like us you know, just nice little detail brush here, which is neat, just to kind of get all that dust and stuff off. My um, that, don't you have these here? Yes. How do you like them? They I come in a case, which is I, nice. I love these from Horizon Hobby. This was my first decent set of RC tools that you get. You get the four wrenches. Right. Plus the top spins. They're super, um, I've only broken one tip. For ten dollars, I think this is better than getting the Racer's Edge one. Oh yeah, you, you get a case in get, foam. In foam, you get a case. They have them in standard and metric. Right. So this would be the set that I ended up getting, which which are beautiful. Oh they yeah, because they're all, standard and metric in RC sell cars, all the guys. Replacements for them. Oh yeah, all, all the bits. replacement tips. But this is the one that I got here. A beautiful set. Actually, I think this one's no. This one's got nut drivers in it. Yeah. So. I don't have the nut driver set. I have the Allen set. Oh, okay. So, um, definitely good. And then, uh, what's the other one I got? The Traxxas ball. This guy right here? No, the ball ends. These. Oh, yes. These for the corners. Most have for working on RC cars. Yeah, because you can't get a straight shot. This here gets it in there with and that Trax's, little bit of angle. Traxxas tools, little known fact. Traxxas tools are made by Snap-on. Yeah. That's why you have Snap-on Traxxas cars, because they yep. have a contract with each other. Yeah. A little fun fact there, guys. Yeah, I've, I've also heard uh, good things about this. About I had those as a kid in middle school when I was really more into RC. Well, I mean, I guess more, I am more now as adult with money. But yeah. as a kid, um, I had this dynamite set my dad got for me, and they work good. Um, they're somewhere in the garage to this day. Um, although the only problem with these is, yes, it's a comfort grip, and it's nice, but you can't replace the tip. Uh, so once they wear out or break it, you throw the whole thing away. Yeah, see, that's also something to look at, you know, like, see these ones here with, like, the Traxxas and the Eco Power one. Right. They're dual tips for, like, your Allens and your flatheads and yeah. everything. So the bit in here wears out. So, yeah. like, horn dog Danny um, bought the set. He hates it. Yeah. He hated it. He yeah. Hated yeah. It. yeah. Yeah, it's just not, not worth it. Yeah. And that's the thing with, with the little RC cars and it's small and you're dealing with it, the simpler the tool, the better, you know? Because sometimes keep it simple is just a yeah, lot lot exactly. better to go with it. Um, I, I live by um, a little motto called KISS. Yeah. K-I-S-S. -S. Keep, keep it, it simple, stupid. Yeah. Because... <laughs> 
you can overthink things quite a bit and yeah. end up spending a ton of money and have a bunch of tools that you can't even use. Yeah. You can't even use. Yeah. So, like me on my eco set, I still use them. I just took the ones that were together and I cut them in half. Yeah. And yeah. I just made them an individual. Yeah, one you just piece. made your own tool. Yeah. Exactly. And that's yeah, just the nice of it. And then, you know, here we've got um, body tools to cut bodies, yes. ream the holes out, igniters, which we're going to go to the nitro section, guys. They do have a little nitro section here for all you nitro, nitro fans. And, um, yeah, it's just neat. You know, the power wash formula for the nitros is mainly, good. yeah. This, this works good. I've used it on every RC car that I have. It works really good. Yeah. It's a spray on, slight scrub, rinse off, you're done. Yeah. It's yeah, it's definitely, definitely worth it. It's, it's good. And then uh, shock oils here, which I know uh, it's very important. You know, you can tune the shocks in these cars. You can change the pistons, the bleeders, everything in them. Do different shock oils and, you know, pretty much create the suspension that you need to work for you for your application exactly. it's just exactly. super customizable because like on my crate and it came with like it's either 30 or 40 weight 30 40 yeah so i started off with spectrum 50, and then i went up to last time i went up to 90 when which is one of these yeah the 90 weight oil yep so i got 90 in it now and it seems to stance a lot better yeah it just for your type hits. of driving just yeah. does good exactly yeah I think that's a lot of part of the reason why i'm having a hard time getting it to hook up in certain places yeah yeah just because you're setting it up for jumping and landing but exactly. you're compromising other stuff it, right? yeah so. yeah and then um just some fuel here we got some vp racing fuel oh, and traxxas top top fuel there um which is yeah. neat you know all right all right all right fuel but if i'd be anything I'd vp go all day yeah, yeah i mean they use stuff fuel. for real cars you know exactly a little tiny car they'll do just exactly. fine and they you know make it specifically for planes specifically for boats and planes you yeah know, all purpose or you have your basher um your basher or fuel yep so it's all different ratios and whatnot yep <clears throat> it's different percentages of yeah, exactly. oil and mixes exactly. and your everything master basher your pro cars Yep. helicopter fuel yep they, they cover it all the, the tractor just goes here you go take this yep put just it in for all your cars yeah but i got people that'll swear by that yeah I yeah don't. just you don't really yeah because no. you got three three nitros two revos well no you got rid of your rustler that yeah, used to be mine rustler. yeah, yeah. I, I, my nitro i'm gonna get i'm gonna get a jado that's really what i want to get so jado three three two speed it's just a better rustler is what it is you know yeah. 65 mile an hour that thing just screams hit second gear you know it's it's cool yeah, but I mean, um, that, that's that's where I go with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I've gotten into nitros. I'm actually getting a is it a nitro slash or is it yeah a nitro slash nitro slash, slash little two wheel drive yeah. Slash. So that'll be my third nitro. Yeah, and it's a short course exactly. nitro truck, so it'll be it'll be yeah, fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get my hands on that one. Oh I'll yeah. Be running that more in my backyard. So. And some some paint too. Oh, I mean, yeah. oh, paint. look at this, guys. There's so much in this store. It's small, but there's a lot of stuff. I exactly. Mean, they carry many different brands. You got spastic here. Yeah. Behind you, you got Tamiya, Tamiya paint. paints. On the other side of it, you got Traxxas. Yeah. Pro line down on the end. Wow. And then your acrylic paints for like all your Warhammer. Yeah. And, and modeling stuff. Yeah. All stuff that's uh, definitely beyond our skill I level. This stuff, right? Tamiya paint is one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, let's see if they have my favorites. The Lame Flake. Mm. Right here. That Lame this Flake is, right this there. This is the Lame Flake. So this is uh, like a rainbow yeah. metal flake. It looks so Sick. especially it does. if you put like a silver uh, flake behind it yeah dude, it just pops so good i love it i agree no it is nice and we got the teal and just all oh, of yeah. that just a lot of cool colors yeah the fluorescents come out nice and then you also got like sticker kits it looks like yeah You're asking kits for different bodies and whatnot very retro it's got the barrels <laughs> yeah exactly yeah no so if this you want to cool. like pro do it to your body and mask it out it's all the mass already done you just put it on and paint it yeah that's actually kind of cool. It is. It's amazing. I've been coming in here for over a year. This is the first time I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hunter, this here is your personal. One of them? One of them. One of many. One of many personal cars. It's a Creighton 8S. It's based, based on. Um, and it's a lot still Creighton 8S. But we went through when Hobby Wing released their Max 4 combos. We went through, yeah, big. We went through, because um, we work with Hobby Wing on some projects that they have, we've got a great local rep. Oh, nice. Um, who lets us test stuff and play with stuff and, you know, see what's coming out. Yeah. Um, and this was a Max 4 combo that came out from Hobby Wing. So it's their 560 kV motor. And their Max 4, I think it's a 400 amp speed controller. 
um, and it runs on 12s. Um, usually, if we're not trying to break it, we'll run it on eight or 12 or uh, excuse me, eight or 10. Um, 12 it probably does around 60 miles an hour, and it'll pull wheelies for about 10 blocks. <laughs> um, and it's just been a project we've had. I've I've been kind of slowly working on. Um, this is a company called Stupid RC. Does this center chassis brace, wow. the motor mount, and there is a transmission mount and speed control mount all in one that he does. Um, super super nice guy to work with. He's actually out of Brazil. Oh wow! Um, that's where I got this stuff from, and it works great. Almost no modifications required to get it in, uh, and it's been a hilarious truck to drive around. Dude, I mean, sure. this thing is just massive. I mean. You know, I know I've seen it once already, but just mm -hmm. seeing it again in this big old motor can, I mean, holy cow. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the few cars I've driven that's, it makes its presence known pretty easily. I mean, it is just a heavy, loud, noisy truck. Wow. Um, and it just makes a dust cloud everywhere it goes. It's, yeah, it's funny. Dude, it's fun. this is awesome. It's so big. There's something to be said about big RC cars. They can be a pain in the butt trying to find somewhere to drive them. Yeah. But when you do, they are worth it. So much fun. Oh yeah, no, this is freaking awesome, Hunter. Wow. It's fun. Yeah, it's pretty much all. I mean, for the most part, it's all stock. You'll see. There's a lot of guys that build these things to the hilt. But, right. Um, in in the case of a lot of stuff, I found the more stock you leave it, the longer the car's gonna last. Really? Oh yeah, for sure. Just because the way the engineers it's designed, designed it's designed it designed yeah. to work a certain way right you, know, you start like this system will break the car eventually for sure um but the engineers designed everything to break right and you could see it in all rc cars yeah everything is designed to break somewhere at some point for a reason so yeah you can you upgrade the electronic system and then i know guys are having issues snapping drive shafts and the output cups oh yeah and what happens is, is you upgrade the drive shafts and the output cups, and then you start blowing differentials out because now your weak point isn't your drive shaft or your cup, it's the differential. Yes. So now you're building differentials. Well, the next thing in the line is the transmission. So then you've got to get an aluminum case, hardened steel gears, all this, that, the other thing. And now you've got, you know, this car is probably cost me 1500 bucks to build where it sits right now these, these electronics are pretty expensive right um but i've seen some cars that are all vitavon or scorched rc parts you know just built to the hilt and they're beautiful cars they are beautiful cars and the guys beat them like they're beat on them yeah but it's a five thousand dollar car yeah and i personally have a really hard time spending that much money on a car yeah i mean just on one car just on yeah. one car yeah i mean i've definitely can see the value in it trust me there are cars that are, are close to that but it's definitely a lot of money to spend on one car yeah no you know, definitely it, it for sure is especially for someone like myself who likes to do a lot of things like, yeah I don't, this isn't one car i have four shelves upstairs filled with cars yep so it's, all the... <laughs> it's not just you know i don't have just one fifteen hundred dollar car i've got a couple yeah so it's hard to put three or four or five thousand dollars into one car yeah no definitely i agree man that is my philosophy insane. is if it ain't broke don't fix it the car hasn't broken yet it's probably got 25 30 battery packs through it wow and uh it just is working yeah no that's great man I yeah have videos of this thing sailing up at cow mountain off the waterfall yeah just flying right off 15 20 times it put a giant gouge into the chassis like Look at it that. But you know that that name right there, Extreme Bash. Just, it's a thick chassis. There you go. Didn't bend the chassis, but wow. it definitely put a dent in it. Yeah. So it's one of those things. You know, the, the truck hasn't broken on me yet. It stock A arms. The shocks are original. Oh, shit, the discs are original. So yeah. You know, until it does fail on me. Yeah, it's big. I just gave it a little shake. I'm like, oh man, I almost broke your whole over. counter over. Yep. Oops, definitely not doing that again. Oop. <laughs> but wow, this thing is huge. Thanks for showing us this, Hunter. This is uh, something you don't really see every day or big my, RCs one of my like this. Projects I worked, I worked on. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And what's cool is, I mean, dude, look how big that servo is. Just everything in here is just massive. Mm -hmm. Big cars require big, big stuff. Yeah. You know, the, the shocks are probably 
fully extended, they're probably seven, eight inches in length. Wow, that's crazy. You know, the, the speed control is, you know, the size of a my hand. Yeah. Motor is the oh. size of a Foster's beer can. Yeah. Um, you know, and it can go bigger, huh? Does you it? well these this is originally so this plate down here which is hard to see oh yeah the transmission's actually turned around from the factory position oh really Normally the motor sits right here oh really so this plate and motor mount because it's all tied together oh yeah yeah actually flips it around and gives you the speed control mount oh so what this normally is is where the other battery tray goes oh you can see the other markings on the so chassis that's right what here. that's for and that's that's how you tell how long your battery tray is right is by doing that i see now with what we did obviously we had to go to one battery tray which means we have to stack the batteries right so i can't run like huge huge stacked successes or anything right. like that because i don't have two trays right we end up running um two smaller six cell packs to get the full 12 s out of it okay i can still run pretty tall four cell packs but the um when i want to run 12 s i have to do some smaller packs because it can only fit in this area right wow no this is this is awesome hunter yeah just it's a fun project. something simple that i was like oh the motor and it's like oh no nope, there's a lot of work that been mm -hmm. yeah it's it not wasn't a crazy it... amount of work again there's there's some cars that are built, yeah some some built cars and they are beautiful but this one's a pretty simple build as far as, you know, doing some electronics in it and making it a little faster, a little more bashable. So this 3S battery fits right in here. It's tight, but it fits. Look at that. See, that's what the truck can't do. <laughs> that pipe so low to the ground. It's just slowly spinning. Crazy. Yep. All right, guys, that concludes the tour of Jake's Performance Hobbies. Big shout out to Hunter. We were there for about two hours, right, Alan? Yeah, two hours walking around. Having yeah, some fun. a lot of stuff, but, you know, they're pretty busy. So, you know, um, just the way it is. So that's good. You know, always support your local hobby shop. Always. And, uh, you know, more RC videos coming out soon. I know there's something a little different, you know. Uh, I guess hopefully you guys like it. Yeah, maybe we can do some more. If you want to see some more uh, hobby shop tours, there are some other hobby shops around that we can check out. Yep. So thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. Peace.